And finally, for today's episode, let's turn to David Trim for a look at Adventist history. This week, the life of Roland David Quinn is remembered. This week in Adventist history, we focus on another forgotten hero of our faith. On August 13, 1928, Roland David Quinn died at Eugene, Oregon. He had been born on August 27, 1869 in Mankato, Minnesota. As a young pastor, Quinn worked several years in Montana and Utah, including in the Salt Lake City Mission, before in 1903 he and his wife Lottie accepted a call to serve in Australia. The Quinns spent five years in ministry in Queensland and Tasmania. Roland returned to the United States as president of the Montana Conference, but in 1909 was elected president of the Greater New York Conference as part of a renewed emphasis on city mission. Why call someone from the big sky country of Montana to lead inner city work? It was because, as a leader, Roland Quinn was both a good financial manager and a man of deep spirituality. As his obituary put it, from the beginning of his ministry, Brother Quinn laid special stress upon the reception of the Holy Spirit. A colleague wrote of how his life was marked with deep humility and devotion, a genial manner and open-hearted sincerity. From 1914 to 1919, as president of the Atlantic Union Conference, Quinn continued to stress evangelistic outreach in the region's many big cities. In 1919, he was called to the World Church headquarters as a field secretary of the General Conference. His death nine years later, aged just 58, came suddenly. Quinn's life was a reality of the ideal of a servant leader. And that was this week in Adventist history.